Okay, midweek, uh, midweek already. <laughs> We're, uh, we've got a trip trap over our little bridge today, haven't we? Meet the peak and slip slide uh, into, uh, so what another weekend looming already? That's the way I look at it anyway. I think that for me, it's always the midweek. Oh, we're nearly, we're nearly almost there already. Um, so uh, I hope you've had a great uh, Tuesday. I hope that Wednesday's got some, uh, some nice things in store for you. It's not one of those days that you dread. Uh, and if it is, can we find a way to just flip it around and, uh, and think differently of it? Uh, thanks for joining me this morning. We're going to do our same spiked uh, protocol timing. And today is cardio kettlebell. So we're going to do our same timing uh, with a cardio exercise, a big power move, and then use uh, kettlebells. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use... Um, a dumbbell, you can use anything you like to be fair. Um, it doesn't have to be uh, it doesn't have to be a kettlebell. So we're gonna get started. I've got a little bit of tinkly music just to keep my uh, my mojo going in the background. Okay, so we're gonna do a long jump. So it's up to you whether you want to do the prisoner arms, they make it harder, genie arms or cross the arms across the chest, or actually use your arms to help. But it's a two-footed landing, two-footed takeoff, landing in a good deep squat, shuffle back and go again. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. So big long jump, get back, big long jump. If you're not a jumper and you're not happy, big stride, squat, shuffle it back. Big stride, big squat, shuffle it back. But if you are, then use the arms to help, take the arms away to make it harder. We've got three seconds and then we'll do a high pull. So that means elbows lead, finishing under the chin. Now if you've not got, you can hold a dumbbell out end to end, or if you've got two dumbbells because they're lighter, you can hold two dumbbells in each hand and do them both together or even separately. Completely up to you. But make sure those wrists are lower than your elbows. Three, two. Two, one, back to the long jump. Nice, big, powerful. If you wanna make it harder still, squat deep and jump from your squat. Remember, you can have that stride. Maybe you want to intermingle them both. You might get tired, so you can mix and match. Working the glutes, the thighs, elevating the heart rate. Ready to high pull? Let's go. This time we alternate. So, one arm and the other. So if you had a heavy weight, then you notice the difference. So if your weight's heavy, then you may be slower. Just like I'm discovering. But technique is everything. So I'm looking to still stay square across the shoulders. That's the key. Okay, ready for jumping. Flat legs are made for. Okay. So getting nice and warm. These muscle groups are probably some of the biggest in the body. So generate lots of heat. They need lots of oxygen. So they're a great way to get warm, but they don't often load. So we're loading. If you want to make it harder still, you could have ankle weights on. You could have wrist weights. Let's go, high pull. Two hands. Remember we get to do this four times through. And then we switch it round. <sighs> Breathing out through the mouth. So don't forget my gliders masterclass tomorrow. You, do, you don't need any kit at all. It is an abs workout, power abs. 30 minutes to spend all on your core, let's jump. It's in Facebook, you don't have to be live with me. It's available to watch for seven days after that, so you can do it as many times as you like. If you've got tea towels, paper plates, they'll also do, or you can just do it without. The workout is equally as good without. 
Okay, ready for that single arm? And then we can have a little rest. So that's Gliders Masterclass tomorrow, Thursday, 6.30. Just book in. I'll add you to the exclusive Facebook group. I'll be there at 6.30 doing the class live, but the class will hang out there. If you're not a Facebook user, you can have a YouTube recording only. But if, well done. But if it's the one thing that I hear as a health and fitness coach, the biggest thing I hear, whether it's male or female, the first thing people say is, oh, I want to do something about my abs. Oh, I want to do something about my trunk. Oh, I want to do something about my core. And so if we do, we have to target it. Uh, we have to use it all together too, but we also can't just use it in one direction. There's so many different muscles in there. Okay, are you ready to long jump again? Let's go. So we're long jumping, but we're changing the kettlebell move. So we're changing it up. Okay. Good stuff. Woo. Thanks for dropping by if you're watching today. Keeping our spirits lifted. Brightening your day. Filling your body with some happy endorphins. Kickstarting. Okay, let's go. So we're cleaning. Not in the traditional sense. So just clean. That's a quarter turn. Finishes under the chin. The bell rolls around. Underneath the chin. Vertical line from the elbow to the shoulder. So we're not kind of coming back in and firing up. I'll come a bit closer. So that quarter turn ends on the back of the wrist in line with your elbow. We're alternating. Okay, let's jump. So it's a great way. Kettle size or kettle, yeah, kettle size. I can't compare it to kettlebells. They are different, but we use the same kit. Kettle size is amazing for keeping it low impact, but really using it to redefine muscle groups, working your core every single time. Are you ready to clean and press? We're not. <laughs> okay, rack your bell and we're gonna push straight up, straight down. So you've racked the bell, you find the chin on the way up and on the way down. If you've no kettlebell, use a dumbbell. Breathing out through the mouth. We use the other hand next time. And let's jump. So getting nice and warm. It is warmer today, for sure. I reckon it's a good eight, eight or nine degrees warmer. It's definitely warmer in here. Who knows? Might even be going back to vest top soon. I do wear vest tops for hit and kettle size. There's no way in the class. Even when it was minus five, kick came off very quickly. <laughs> okay, let's do the other side. So it's that quarter turn. And push. So you're finding the chin up and down. Bicep finds the ear. It's a full range of movement. Breathing out as you lift. Oh. Dumbbells are fine. Let's go. Don't forget your easy walk. Don't forget your deep squat and uh, finished squat. So you can start in a squat. Don't forget genie arms, crossover arms, prisoner arms, weight. So many ways to up it and lower it. You're doing good. 10 seconds to go. Good stuff. All these squats, but if made to just do squats, you wouldn't have done it. Okay, clean and press, alternate. Not clean and press, clean. So vertical line, back to where we started. But these arms ooh, have been worked and they're tired now, or oh, mine are. Needing a little bit of a help from a little knee bend. Not a squat, come on, three seconds. 
Weighted movement. That's what we should all be doing every day. We should include weighted moves in all of our days, whether or not it's picking up your wheelbarrow, whether it's moving plant pots, whether it's moving furniture, cleaning, lifting, whatever, digging. It's resisted movement. It's pulling, pushing, hinging, squatting. Our body needs that. So thanks so much for joining me. I'm over on the main page now for five minutes. Morning, Mindy, morning, Carolyn. My, uh, uh, the loyal two at seven o'clock that tell me that they're here. I know lots of you do throughout the day. Hello Fiona, good morning, nice to see you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't, you can enjoy it later. Uh, over on my main page now, it's five minutes of low intensity. It's seated today, so grab yourself a chair, grab yourself a drink, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> 